One of the questions we had come in is uh, often asked is what causes antler casting? And that is the proper term. People call it shedding, they call them dropping, whatever. But in, in biological talk, it's, it's casting, when bucks cast their antlers. What, what happens is that as they come out of the rut, and they've got a high serum testosterone level, and as they come out of the rut, that's, that level starts to decline, uh, partly due to a lot of activity that they're, they're involved in. And then by, by early, late winter, early spring, we're starting to move towards the, the uh, spring equinox. And, and as that testosterone level keeps dropping and dropping, when it gets to a certain level, what happens is there are cells that lie in the base of the antler just above the burr that are called osteoclasts. Those are cells that eat bone and they start doing their work eating the bone layer between the base of the antler and the top of the pedestal. And it's amazing how fast they can work. As I, and have, we handle lots of deer here at the Institute and I've grabbed bucks late in the year by the antlers and pulled them around and worked with them, reach and walk away to get something, come back, grab hold of the antler and the antler comes off in my hand. And so it's really the, again, the light regime in the, in the summer and fall regulates the production of antlers. The light regime in the spring regulates the casting of the antlers. So I hope that answers your question.